Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In this video, we will see the difference between plane and geodetic surveying. The actual shape of the Earth is not plane it is an oval shape called oblate spheroid. The length of the polar axis is shorter than the equatorial axis, but this difference is very small. So that Earth is assumed as a sphere for understanding. Surveying thus primarily divided into two parts. Plane surveying. Geodetic surveying. Plane Surveying Suppose we have two points, which is near to each other, when the points are near to each other, then the Earth's curvature is not shown. Hence the plane surveying is the survey, when Earth curvature is not considered. Surveying in which the surface of the Earth is assumed as a plane, and the curvature of the Earth is ignored, is known as plane surveying. It is suitable for a survey of small areas, up to 196 square km, where the Earth's curvature does not affect the results. All the triangles formed by joining three points are considered a plane triangle, and all the angles are considered trigonometrical angles. In this type of survey, level lines are considered straight, and plumb lines are always parallel. If the area to be surveyed is more than 1,000 square kilometer the angles measured on the surface of the Earth cannot be in a plane surface but are on a curved surface, therefore, geodetic surveying must be employed to achieve precision for large areas. The error related to the calculations result is directly proportional to the area's size to be surveyed. That means, the larger the area, the higher the error margin. Plane surveys are suitable for surveying the locations and highways, canal, landing fields, and road construction. An arc of length 12 km long resting on the surface of the Earth is only 1 cm larger than the subtended cord. For the triangle on Earth's surface holding an area of 196 square kilometers, there is only a 1 second difference between the sum of the angles in a plane triangle and the sum of those in a spherical triangle. Geodetic Surveying It is the type of surveying in which the curvature of the Earth is taken into account and a very high standard of accuracy is maintained. Geodetic surveying is a type of surveying which deals with large areas where it is essential to consider the Earth's actual shape and dimensions. Suppose we have two point in the oblate, and B, when we have to measure between A and B, we have to consider Earth curvature. When two points are far, Earth curvature is considered known as geodetic surveying. Plumb bob line in case of geodetic surveying always intersect at center of Earth. Its main aim is not to determine the exact Earth's shape but to establish an accurate and rigid control for all other surveys coordination. This point is often ignored, 
and the scientific aspect is sometimes emphasized to the more practical side's loss. The Earth's dimensions must be known to enable the actual calculation of positions. It is also evident that it is necessary to carry out the geodetic trigonometrical survey before these dimensions can be determined. In a geodetic survey, all lines resting on the surface are curved lines and the triangles formed are referred to as spherical triangles. Measurements are obtained with high precision instruments, and calculations are made applying the spherical trigonometry practice. Each geodetic station's position is represented employing longitude and latitude, and GPS, Global Positioning System, is usually employed for this objective. Difference between plane surveying and geodetic surveying. S. No. Plane surveying. Geodetic surveying. One curvature of Earth is not taken into account. Curvature of Earth is taken into account. 2. The line joining any two points is treated as a straight line. The line joining any two points is treated as the arc of the circle. 3. Length up to 12 km is treated as plain surveying. Length more than 12 km is treated as geodetic surveying. 4. A triangle formed by joining three points is considered as plane triangle and angles formed are considered as trigonometry is required. A triangle formed by joining three points is considered as spherical angles. Knowledge of spherical trigonometry is required. S. No. Plane surveying. Geodetic surveying. 5. Knowledge of planet trigonometry is required. Knowledge of spherical trigonometry is required. 6 AREA up to 196 square kilometer is treated as a plane. Area more than 196 square kilometer is treated as geodetic surveying. 7 IT is less accurate and less correct. It is more accurate and more correct. 8. Used in general civil engineering survey project work. Used for the precise location of a widely distant area. 9. It employs traditional instruments like measuring tape, a cane, theodolite, etc. It employs more accurate devices and modern technology like GPS. S. No. Plane surveying. Geodetic surveying. 10. It is done locally by individual organizations and firms. Governments and state departments do it. 11. It is the most economical and straightforward type of surveying. It is the most costly and complicated type of surveying. 12. 
It is useful for surveying in a small area. It is useful for surveying in an extensive area. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.